there is a very uh, clear cut uh, iip guidelines as well as the national immunization program guideline for uh, india the vaccines uh, 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 th there's a common set of vaccines which are uh, recommended uh, uh, by people and some of these uh, if i can start from the first year and just quickly go through some of the vaccines they may vary a little bit from one place to the other uh, as to what time they're given some of them give few at 12 months some of them change them at 15 months uh, but roughly if you go through uh, all the vaccines uh, round about uh, 12 some of these are new vaccines which start uh, after one year some of them are actually continuation vaccines uh, which you might have started uh, even before the first year and they're actually booster doses which you need to uh, carry on later on in life uh, so if i can just sort of quickly scroll through the vaccines at 12 months um uh, you would give the hepatitis a vaccine uh, some of them also give the pneumococcal vaccine at the same time around about the 12 month period um there are optional vaccines such as cholera and japanese encephalitis uh, these generally are not used uh, regularly in most places but uh, japanese encephalitis which is sort of endemic in certain areas they they, they do tend to use that vaccine uh, in some parts of the country but the uh, regular ones at uh, 12 months would be the hepatitis a Uh, or the pneumococcal vaccine, which is a continuation vaccine. Uh, at 15 months, uh, normally would give the MMR vaccine and the chickenpox vaccine. Uh, then, if you move on to around 18 months, would be the DPT vaccine and generally the second dose uh, of the hepatitis A vaccine. The DPT vaccine, like I said, is a continuation vaccine which is started uh, uh, immediately after birth uh, in the first six to eight weeks after birth. The vaccine would have started, and this is a continuation vaccine of that. um at two years uh, we normally give the meningococcal vaccine again meningococcal is not a, uh, a compulsory vaccine but it's an optional vaccine uh, which uh, is a good vaccine to take it does protect you against uh, the meningococcal bug uh, which causes meningitis uh, but it's an optional vaccine mainly because the incidence of the condition is not uh, very high in india but it still gives you good protection so uh, it is advisable to take that vaccine um then uh, round about 4 to 6 years you would get another booster dose the preschool booster doses as what we call them as uh, which would be the uh, dpt vaccine along with the injectable polio vaccine uh, as well as the mmr vaccine um and then round about 9 years uh, onwards uh, we give another booster dose of the tdap or the dpt booster um and also the for girls get the papilloma virus or the hpv Uh, commonly known as a cervical cancer vaccine uh, is given to people uh, other than these regular vaccines obviously till the age of 5 years is recommended that uh, all children should get their flu vaccine which i think uh, we're going to have a discussion about it uh, uh, later on so i won't go into much details um, uh, which uh, is usually given on a yearly basis to protect kids against the common flu uh, or the influenza virus um, again like i said there there are few variations as to how people use these vaccines Uh, but generally uh, this is the list of uh, important vaccines that people should get after the first one year of life